This is brand new with tags right here. How much was this? What? <laughs> 200 bucks? Oh. 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 Oh, please be nice. Whoa. 306, 227? Well, dang. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this 10 by 15 locker at the storage auction because it was reported that the prior owner had passed away. I took a chance at $800, which wasn't too bad considering the lady had died. Caught on a hot mic, the other bidder bragged how he made me pay for this unit. Supposedly, he bid me up intentionally. Well, the laugh is on him as I immediately found great stuff, starting with a Gucci watch, then a coin collection including 20 ounces of silver coins. Maybe the best part is a paper bag full of jewelry boxes, which we've still yet to look through closely. But first, I have a bunch of boxes still to get through, so let's see what other surprises and treasures are waiting for us. Alright Locker Nuts, we are inside my unit. Alright, this is my personal unit. I know on the last episode, okay, if you guys watched the last episode, I found some jewelry boxes inside a paper bag. Isn't that crazy? A Rayleigh's grocery store paper bag. A um, whole bunch of jewelry, little bins, right? Little containers. A um, couple that I opened. We saw jewelry, we saw gold, we saw really good stuff, and I found a whole bag full of it. So I meant to do that next. Here's the problem. Last night we lost power and uh, very high winds up to, actually I think overnight they clocked them up to 70 miles per hour, gusts up to 70 miles per hour at the top of the mountain that's close to it. It's a very high mount, mountain, Mount Diablo. But um, strong, strong winds. Uh, PG&E cut the power in an effort to prevent any um, downed power lines starting fires because fires is a big problem around here, especially right now this October. Um, high winds, dry conditions, and still kind of hot. So. Uh, yeah, that's a really bad, really bad conditions for fire. So, um, what are we doing right now? Well, I went home, no power. I can't even edit videos or nothing because my laptop's going to die. So, I decided let's go to the unit. I still have some boxes. This right here is another box out of that same unit. This is a deceased owner unit, and I knew that when we bought it. So, um, the lady had passed away, and obviously she didn't go through this stuff. In the last episode, we found jewelry, and we found coins. Great stuff. <laughs> So we got this big tall box right here, and then we got a bunch of small boxes in the other unit. Let's start going through that. I'm gonna grab my GoPro, and let's get started, and hopefully find some more good stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. We love sealed boxes. Love it, love it, love it. Hmm. Clothes on top. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We found clothes in almost every single box, so. Pacific Trail. <laughs> It's a little dated, but you know what? It's actually kind of nice. See if there's anything in the pocket. Snip. Uh, you know what? That's not bad. I'd say this is uh, vintage, probably 90s. And a little leather, faux leather collar here. Denim. I think that uh, that might actually sell at the flea market. I think that is vintage cool. Old Navy. That is not, not cool. That's a little bizarre. Oh, Happy Mother's Day 2003. Someone made that for the mom. Okay. It makes more sense if it's a handicraft. London Fog. That's nice. Pretty nice. More dry clean stuff. Jones, New York. Jones, New York. Lady love for Jones, New York. Oh boy, I see a lot of clothes in here. A couple Ann Klein suits, they are very worn. I've seen a lot of use. Austin Reed. That seems a little bit nicer. This is brand new with tags right here. How much was this? What? <laughs> 200 bucks? From Macy's? Serious? 200 bucks right here. My goodness. All right, that's. Oh, we got the matching skirt, and the skirt was a hundred nine bucks. 
What the heck? I didn't know that stuff was that expensive. Jones, New York? Or oh, it's not skirts, pants. Wowza. Uh oh, what do we have? We have another tag piece right here. Jones, New York. 199 bucks right here. Another small and let's see. This time we do have a skirt. And this is Yep, that's a matching piece right there. Skirt and jacket. Jacket's brand new with tags. Skirt, I don't know. But my goodness, that's expensive. If the skirt's a hundred bucks, that's over six hundred bucks in tag pieces right there. The skirt's the unknown though. Okay. See no more more tag stuff. Huh? Not that. I mean China. Huh. I think that's faux leather. It's pretty soft though. That's definitely faux leather there. Okay, what's what is tagged? Please be leather jacket. This is tagged. Bernardo. No, that's fake. Polyurethane. Still kind of nice though. Brand new. No tags. No price, but we got tags. I see another tags right here. Nordstrom, 150 bucks. All right, what is this? Looks like all the tag stuffs at the bottom here. It's actually getting better. This is one of the nicest clothes we've found so far. Caslon, huh? I saw that Caslon piece before. I didn't think it was 150 dollars. This is nice. Mark New York. This feels like real leather. Made in China still, but lambskin. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Rampage leather. Okay. Rampage, decent brand. I think it used to be. This one's seen a little bit more wear, but. Well, it holds up good. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. The tassels on it. Yeah. Alfani. Which is not an especially high brand, high quality brand, but it's decent. It's got a suede leather with the tassels. It's okay. It's alright. It's nothing that fancy. Uh, this is another Mark New York right here. Another leather piece. This is much nicer. I think this is going to say lambskin again. Yeah, lambskin. It's not just leather, it's lambskin, which probably means it's softer. Ooh, that's really soft. That's a nice jacket right there. I don't know, we've never tried to auction off, I don't think, uh, well, the jacket's like that. Maybe we should try. I'm gonna put them in the car and bring them home, let Janet take a look. These at Mark New York's especially are very nice. Okay, that was it for that unit. Now we're at the other unit. Yeah, I've got two units. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two units, and this one's a mess. Back there is a lot of empty racks, a lot of open space. It's not really packed very well. I really need to spend a day just reorganizing this whole thing. Uh, but right now, I just shoved some stuff in here. So uh, we did have that dining set here. Gave that away to a family member last night, and uh, which is great. But I still have all these little boxes. Unfortunately, the sun's coming right in my unit here. I like to go a little bit deeper. Um, it's not going to be possible. So. I'm gonna have to figure out how maybe to set it up like right here or something, get a little bit of shade. The sun is really harsh right now, so um, let me do that and then let's get to opening the little boxes. Okay, next box. Dishware. Mm -mm. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh man, Danbury Mint. Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. That's kind of nice. Nineteen eighty-seven. Yeah, these are pretty. Cool. Okay, what do we got here? SD Lauder bag. It's kind of got some funky stuff on it. But let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 
What? Okay. Not was I expecting. Not not at all. And I am not complaining. All right, guys. What do we got here? Okay. What do we got here? Danbury Mint. Okay. Danbury Mint watch. It's got some extra chain here. That's nice. Okay. Not too excited about that. It's cool though. Danbury Mint. Oh. I don't, I don't really know much about Danbury Mint jewelry. Doesn't feel like gold. Hmm. Doesn't feel like it. I don't see any markings either. I take that back. There is a little mark right there. It's probably gold plated. That's my guess. That's my guess. Gold plated. Let's look at that. And then the loop. Actually, I do have a loop in the car, so. Another damn very mint. It's got a little mark in here, too. Okay. Certificate of Authenticity. Gold bar is genuine pure gold and has been assessed at 0.999 pure gold. Okay, this is not a gold bar. Oh. Looks more like silver to me. Looks like there's supposed to be a little diamond or something in there. It looks like silver to me, but it could be white gold. Boy, we're finding some interesting stuff though. I was not expecting this, honestly. I want to find that gold bar. Okay. Some pearls here. They're all like different shape. These are probably, what is it, saltwater pearls or whatever. Hmm. Okay. Overstock, huh? Hmm. Let's see what this is. Oh boy, this is fun. <laughs> this is Danbury Mint. I'm not sure if this was really what came in that box. Oh, that's cool. Some really nice uh, little necklace here. Cool. Okay, this one empty. Hmm. Oh, I bet you this one went in there. No, that one went in there. I bet you this one went in there. You think? Nope. Never mind. Okay. All right. A couple more watches. No, nothing on that one. Another Danbury Mint. Nope. Take it back. I thought that's what it said. I'm not sure what that says. A couple more watches, nice. Nothing super amazing, but oh. oh please be nice. Please be nice. It definitely looks nice. Huh. No. I don't think this is gonna be real guys. Oh man, that would have been nice. I don't think this is real, but it could be. I'll have to look closer. I just don't see any marks, and it would have a mark on it. No gold mark. All right, we'll test it. It doesn't feel like it has the right weight, though. It feels too light to me. All right, it feels too light. Hmm. Just costume problem, but we'll test it. We'll test it. All right, let me look at this guy right here. All right, this little mark right in there, right there, it's a D in an M. It stands for Danbury Mint, obviously. And that is not going to be... It doesn't have the right feel. It wasn't really fooling me, but... Um, it most likely is gold-plated. I'll look it up, see what I can find. Uh, nevertheless, it's a nice costume piece. Right? See, it does shimmer. It's got some bling, but it's nothing, like, real valuable or precious. Still nice find. Um, yeah, not a bad little box. I mean, this would be a nice little auction lot in our auctions. Um, but not the precious stuff that I think we found in the other bag. Uh, and I'm hoping that we have more of. Yeah, actually, finding this actually takes it down a couple notches because 
I don't know. Maybe the other stuff isn't as good as I'm hoping it is. All right. Of course, the sun has moved on me, and now we have less. We got a glare now. We have less shade than we did earlier. It's sun. All right. But you see right there where I'd like to be working is even worse. So. Arrgh. Arrgh. These look decent. Tasco. Zip Focus 101 BRZ. Huh. That looks like a decent little set of binocs right there. Jason. This is Japan. We got another set. It's got a, only one cap. Why, why are both those missing caps? All right. Perma Focus 2000. Jason 7x35. Another pair of binoculars. Oh, here's another Bushnell smaller Binox light vision 4x30. Golden crown. Look at this little rose made in Italy. Probably put that in a lot. Okay. Okay. Hmm. A little rosary. All right, now we're inside the unit. It's a little better. I have a feeling this is exactly what it says it is. A makeup mirror. Um, yep, it looks like it's brand new too. Okay. To the flea market, it will go. To the flea market, it will go. To the flea market, it will go. Hi ho, Mario. Stop. All right. Blondo. Blondo. Yeah, that's what they are. Blondo. Made in China. Um. Blondo, huh? Brand new boots. Hmm. Yeah. Brand new. Brand new. I have to look those up. I don't really know much about Blondo. Let's see. Oh, they're from Norsham, though. Okay. $235 for boots from... Okay. 7 medium. I hope someone in my family wears a 7 medium, because it just saved me 240 bucks. Okay. Caution. Open with care. Alright. And this is another knife set. It's just a nice little... Ronco 25 piece knife set probably ordered on QVC or something Same thing Yep, yep Ronco another one Those are probably ten bucks each at the flea market Toastmaster All right brand new toaster. It's a little bit old, but Looks like it's never been opened Flea market. Alright, now yeah, this looks a little more... I was almost going to say interesting, but I'll back that up and just say a little bit more varied. How's that? Varied. Alright, little clock. Sadler Chaland. I think that's what it says. It doesn't look like anything special to me, but that doesn't mean it's not valuable. Kid B, here's the lid. Okay, it's a little jewelry box. Hail Mary, hand painted limited edition. The Franklin Mint, what? A little rosary inside. Oh, look at that. There might be a little piece of gold right there. Not much. A little Grammy Graham, probably, but. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a little princess house or something. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Barbara, they're coming to get you. You guys know what movie that's from? Comment below if you think you know what that must be from. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Don't be Googling it either. Shoot me. Throb. Uh, heart throb. I love you.
What is this? Almost looks nicer. It's different. That's it for that box. Okay, back over here to this side. Whoa. <laughs> That's also very unexpected. Um, these are almost always empty, and this one, this one does not feel empty, guys. This is not empty. iPad Pro. What the heck is this? Is this brand new or something? Oh, uh, very lightly used. I would say that much. Dang it! I just bought one for Camille. Ooh. Okay, so here's what we got. We got an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. It looks like this off the model number. And hmm, hmm. A1674 is the number. Wait, let me look at the sold prices. Those ones are kind of all over the place. What? Three hundred dollars? Two fifteen? One fifty? Three oh six? Two twenty seven? Well, dang. Okay, so these are all unlocked. That's the that's the challenge is to get this thing to not be um, iCloud locked. But uh, we do know there's a way. It's usually not worth it. Oh, this is 120 gig too. I think that's pretty good. Oh, it says right here. All the specs. <laughs> It'd be great if she bought this and didn't know how to use it. And never turned it really onto a iCloud. Uh, yeah. Good find, guys. Good find. Okay. Okay, we're finding a little bit better stuff now. This is good, too. What the heck? This old lady's surprising me. Converse. All Stars. Brand spanking new. Look at that. Those are really nice. And what size are those? Chuck Taylor 2s. These are probably 7s, right? Oh, look at this Nordstrom receipt right here. When was that bought? Uh, this is not for that. This is for something else. $150. So. These are some nice shoes right here. Hmm. Size 7. Oh boy, I hope one of my kids wears the seven. A few more boxes right here, guys. Let's see what we find. That wasn't good shot. Okay, here's another knife set. We're not going to go through opening that. Okay, we just got another knife set. All right, this. Tony Llama boots. We found some Tony Llamas recently. And I do know this much. I know that they are expensive. Oh, yes, and these are brand new. The other ones, no, these aren't Tawny Llamas. What the heck? Justin? Classics? Oh, man, they clickbaited me. Clickbaited me, dang it. Dang it. Okay, but you know what? This lady did spend some decent money. These could be still pretty pricey for all I know. They're not Tony Llama, though. But um, I'll have to look those up. Justin, I'll definitely have to look those up. That could be decent. Those beyond Beyondo. Beyondo. Beyondo? Blondo? Blondo. Boots 235 bucks. Wait, does this have a price tag? No. 160. No, that, that's for Tony Lama. Never mind. Never mind. I'm talking crazy. Okay. Little poker set. Let's go. Cool. Okay, wooden block knife holder. It's not surprising since she had so many sets of brand new knives. Here we have a brand new knife block. Also by Ronco. Same as the knives, okay? Okay, here's another knife set. Alright. Oh, it looks like I got one more box, guys. One more box, then we go home to open the jewelry. Well, I think I looked at this already. Did I look at this? Mm, no, I'm thinking of winning the locker I got with Mike. We had a horse carousel. Let's see what it does. It's not. 
This just might be loose. Kelvin Fine China, hand painted. Hmm. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Big uh, little angel's head's not supposed to be rolling around in there. So, was me. Part of angels losing their wings, but losing their heads. New thing. These are cool. There's something else in here. I'm saying these because I think there's two. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's nice. These are really cold. I think those are jade. I think this is jade. This might be a rose jade or something like that. These are really cold. They're definitely stone. All right, that's it. That's it, guys. Wait, let me just scan real quick. There's a lot of junk here. This is all like flea market stuff that I've just put here temporarily. I think this vacuum is probably decent. It says shark and it says professional. So I think that means it's probably decent. Nah, I don't see anything else. No boxes that maybe got tucked away. I don't see anything. So that's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. Now we're going to go home. I mean, not right this second, but when I do go home, next scene you see will hopefully be jewelry because that's the last part to go through in this locker. All right, guys. Next episode, we are going to get to this. I promise. I know I said that at the end of the last one, but um, it just didn't work out. All right, but uh, ooh, there's a little sneak peek right there. White Hill Company, a couple of earrings, I think those are real.